So to start off this uh, assignment, you need to have pipe cleaners, but we realize that it may not be possible for all of you to have pipe cleaners, so we've actually made a little video to show you what we imagine that you could do. If you want to, go ahead and get some pipe cleaners and do this yourself. Otherwise, here's this video and you can uh, visualize what it is we want you to learn by looking at pipe cleaners in relation to phylogenetic trees. Okay, so here we have the pipe cleaners with the different organisms that you worked with, trout, crocodile, pigeon, gecko, salamander, cow, and human. And they're all on, connected to a pipe cleaner. And what we're gonna do is first start by twisting all of the pipe cleaners together at the bottom at the root of the phylogenetic tree. So we get them all twisted together. And that represents the common ancestor, right, of all of these different organisms. And then we, and then we start to twist together the few organisms that needed to be twisted together based on the relationships and based on the shared characteristics. Now remember, this is just like the clade race, so it's, a, it's in essence what we're doing here is remaking the clade race. And we're just doing it, though, by twisting together pipe cleaners. And once we get done with this, you can see that we now have the clade race, where we have all of the organisms with their relationships to each other. And that's the final tree with pipe cleaners. Okay, so let's look at um, the, these pipe cleaner trees that we've just made. And I've put two images here. So notice that they can be different. They don't have to all be the same. They can be flipped around. The you know It could have even been where maybe here the cow was on this side and the human was on this side. You know It doesn't matter really the way that the nodes when, when you have those branching points, you can twist those around as much as you want. It doesn't change the fact that the human and the cow share a most recent common ancestor relative to all of the other organism, organisms. And the crocodile and the pigeon share a most recent common ancestor. And it doesn't matter whether a crocodile or pigeon is like that. And notice even in these two images, I mean, it's almost like just a mirror image where, where the entire tree has flipped. So don't get caught up on how things are arranged within um, a branching point where you can just branching points can rotate rather make sure that you look at trees as um, assemblages of organisms that share a most recent common ancestor with each other and that makes them most closely related to each other and then you move further down and now the gecko for example shares a recent common ancestor that is also shared with crocodile and pigeon so you can only say that a gecko is is equally related to a crocodile and to a pigeon so anyway, if you need, to, if this helps, get uh, some pipe cleaners out and you can play with this. And maybe after a while, visually, this will start to make sense in your mind where trees are simply like these clade races, but that it doesn't matter. The, the, that the way that those branching points are organized can be flip-flopped. And even if you visualize that on the clade race, that's how it could have been as well.